Howdy, y'all. It's Southern Railway 5973 Productions, and I'm just here. Uh, am I uh, where? <laughs> no, that's what you're gonna say. Oh, I'm just here. Mm -hmm. And today we're gonna be playing again, Doki Doki Laser Club. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's let's see what we're at. When it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. Are you re engaging in a reliable story? Is that so? What is it about anyway? What, it, what, what is it about anyway? What is it about anyway? Well, hmm. you're close to the book and scans your eyes over the book, over the back. <laughs> the book is titled a Portrait of Marco. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Oh, great. And so let me make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. This way, it's about a girl in high school who moves into her, her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets tar targeted by these people who keep from the human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to put the first of the shoes into the trust. I actually can't read. My chest is hurting. Yeah. What? Did I see? Uh, what? No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of the relationship and it's going to fall apart. That's kind of... This is kind of dark, isn't it? You made it seem like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Didn't the dude go all of a sudden? Are you a fan of What the? Oh, wrong button. Uh, no, it's not bad. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so oh, don't worry. So don't worry. I already said that. You, you didn't say so. I said... <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I totally didn't forget... For, I totally forgot the hear reasons for those things. She's not trying to cult us on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. But she wants to look at those kinds of stories. She says time she has to look in at her face and she keeps testing. I didn't say that. Yeah. Why does that smell? I have no idea. If all those things happen, it's not just because someone wants to be in the or because they have their own goals of their business and most protected belief in. Suddenly, when you have a fox to relate to your protagonist, you need to breathe. They made a whole native one of the letting their limbs have your mother interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm not the mother type. Then again, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Hmm, well, I guess it's alright then. But I felt like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing for my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. You can stop me if I talk too much. That... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate and about passionate. reading. Passionate about reading. <laughs> <laughs> at least I can do, like, at least I can do is listen. It's literature club after all. Uh, that's, no, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started on reading it right. Right? Right? You, you, you don't have to. Ah, what are you saying? Are you doing Tom's voice? Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I we could have called this Thomas. Just a moment. I you said you weren't looking forward to it. We could have called this Thomas. Yeah. Oh my God, we had a chance and we lost it. Oh, the. <laughs> the only indignity. <laughs> what the? Let me just get the book. I could even read the book that they put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I, I, I slipped into the seat next to Yuri. 
Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little prehensive. Apprehensive. 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 Jesus Christ, scared my head But I'm sorry. It's not like they don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, creating a company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if you end up distracting. If I. If, if I end up distracting you or anything. I still understand what Yui means about the reading and company. It's as if I can feel the presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not only particularly a bad thing. Maybe it's a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yui's in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. You you really apologize a, a lot, you do. You? Don't, uh, don't you? Jesus Christ, you really need to practice. <laughs> do, you, do your school ever have you read? Huh? Do you read, do you read in school? Pretty much, in British accent. Oh my god, that was British. God damn it. Are you born in British? No. But I did listen to some of those Thomas UK videos. Oh my god, this is where he got the accent. Oh god, this is where I got my Scottish accent. Mm -hmm. I have to say I don't watch that Scottish girl so much. I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> uh, you, you should work, right? I slide my desk until it's pumped against your ears. And hold my book more between the two of them. I suppose so. You're attempting to close your own copy. Once you lean a little bit, my shoulder is almost touching. It feels like my left arm in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. You reaches her arm, left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Uh. I did the same with my right arm, and I right side of the book. That way, I turned the page side to Yuri's other thumb after this to the third side, but in holding it like, but in holding it like this, a little even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel one for Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Turn the page. I'm sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I went over Yuri's face again and put her eyes. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with it. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? Oh, what the? <laughs> I'll have the least I can do. Then she can appreciate me. Yeah. Thanks. I continue reading. You would no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own validation. You continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page once feels like an imminent exchange. It's done. Jelly letting go of the page, lifting it a flutter over her side so I can catch it under her thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, what the? You think so? What does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. <laughs> but she also second guesses all of uh, the uh, of the things that she says and does. All of the things that she says and does. I told you to read that book. <laughs> well, like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see in your head or anything. But they think 
but but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. 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 Man mannerisms. Mannerisms. Yeah, you can do. Let me see. Your ear is being silent for a moment. But seven. That's probably terrible things you have to comment there. What the heck do you think of that? Wait, wait. I didn't mean in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't think, didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I guess I'm more meant that is kind of cute. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> I think it's all time to share today's problems with each other. We may not be able to enough time for we too long. Uh, and Yuri seems shared and finished from her thoughts. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you hadn't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri loses her hand from the book, causing it to close the top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or you would prefer only read it with you. Um, I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after I pick up a picks bit. Picks up. Picks up a bit of a you, you know. Oh, a you, you know. <laughs> a you, you know. Yeah. Of you, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's good reason. In that case, I feel free to finish this Alright. I stand up. I make my mental note of where I left the book in the book and then slip it back into my bag. By the way, do you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My election ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I really never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't we find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sigur and Monica insistently pull out their poems. Stories of the wrinkled sheet of loosely torn with a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a competition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting where I see it. Most can look in a compass as well reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. What should we do first? Hmm. Okay. Thing. I think. Okay. Is Monica? Okay. Oh shoot. Sure. Is this Sir Monica? Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poems and I want to no, her intimate effort. Hi, Sibling. Haven't you a good day so far? Uh, yeah. You're glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever need assistance of the club, like new club activities or something you can do about it, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just being a glow and more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Sylvan. We're all really embarrassed today, you know. But it's some sort of burial that must learn and get past to. Yeah, that's true. I have mine on my poem. Mm -hmm. But the joke, Sylvan, is going to ooh my head while reading it. It's really more poetical. I'm not sure why. I didn't expect you to go something so deep. I guess I'm necessary to you. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it'll count when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it works anyway. You know, that you really likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that full of imagination and sibling. Unlike Siori, who likes using simple or direct words to describe happiness and sadness. You likes it when your readers are left to divide their own meaning. It's a challenge to write like that effectively. 
Wolf allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all the nuisance. And it's in it takes years to practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has this point. Now let me ask them. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry about you so much, Shaiba. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring by learning and trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. Well, okay, the British accent is back, I guess. <laughs> oh. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way can find a kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to try to write who else wants you to write. It's not like you have to, you have to worry about impressing them or something. <laughs> uh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who plans to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always look helpful, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Do you want me to read it or you read it? Okay, I'm kind of going to do this. Okay. Hole in wool. It couldn't have... Okay. Okay. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the speckled A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I read blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My routine is ready already with a permanent copy of the main glass image. Meaningless glass. In image. Uh, image. It just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Street stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realized that now I wasn't looking I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. I don't get this whole story thing. Yeah. Maybe... I didn't know what I'm gonna do. Is he... Was she in the black hole? Hmm? So... What you think? Hmm. It's very freeform if that was a you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh -huh, that's okay. Yeah, that kind of story has already gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting in interesting on the time, putting words and lines. When they're formed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Oh. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could see that I have some kind of influence recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An infinite... An I can't say. Oh. Infinite... Ah, I forgot it. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of some coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets to fixate on this specific poem. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and then tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, it will just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who next? Uh, okay, Mitsuki, I guess. Wait, didn't we write it about Yuri? Um, yeah. So I guess I got the.
choose Ne Nezuki over. Nasuki likes cute things. I get yeah. So we made like a dark one, right? She's not gonna like it. Um Okay, Ciari, I guess you picked Ciari because But we kinda made her like kind of her. This is a good poem, Southern. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I'm I am I'm the kind of guy who would be writing poems in the spare time. Uh -huh. I guess you're right. But that's why you depressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid I wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really just happy you wrote one. It just reminds me how you're a really good part of the club now. Not I mentioned the fact I'm starting right in front of you in the club room. <laughs> uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Southern. Deep down, you're not so just not at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's not something that really good people would do. You sure about that, Yuri? Thanks, Yuri. I'm not sure if Yuri sees the full picture of my load of here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That I will be a my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't, oh Don't yeah. worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, here we go. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through... They're doing it in your normal voice. Alright, glow through my blinds in the normal. It makes what me feel like, like you miss me. That's a warning. The way you... Kiss my forehead to help me out of bed. Make me feel rubbed uh, the sleepy from my eyes. Okay, let me read it. Let me read The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, make me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish me the ray the rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> That's all I want breakfast. It's breakfast. Theory. Oh god. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning you write this? Did I write this? No! Just a little bit. You can answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I just forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. What the? It came out nice, or how should I put it? What? I think you had to put them out. What the heck? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially like. Like uh, that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late for, to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Oh, I keep doing that for some reason. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> it was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever! Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Now what? Nezuki? Oh, she's gonna hate it. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Oh, oh my god. Saturday, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. You need to believe or totally put actually putting effort into this. Do you think I'm stupid? 
I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. Well, all start somewhere right. If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to I like to read it. Painful to think about it. Fine. Well, sorry. You get better anyway. I'll tell you what to improve, but you better off just tell me. Just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to eat at their own, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, I got to share mine now. Knowing you, you're probably thinking it's stupid. Okay. It was implying monkeys can climb because it, wait, this one you can do, right? Oh yeah. Alright, here we go. Eels can fly. Muggies can fly. Crickets Climb. can... <laughs> Crickets oh. can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Okay, that's oh, easy. Yeah. Just to climb. Oh, Just to climb, oh, not climb. Climb. I was gonna say that. What was the identity? You're really bad at reading. Yeah. Can you give me your mouth? Uh, yeah. Because I don't want to press this thing over and over. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in our high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people like that don't even... Oh. He's fucking close. Okay, just put it in, in whatever this mode is. Okay, you hold it because my time hurts. Alright, uh, right, this is the thing. I wish they had a tripod for this. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But, the, but isn't the point of poem for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less Wild. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things but you can, can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Uh, yeah, I, under, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the third play. Like, it creeps down a, a rhythm at the end, but it makes it fall flat at first. It helps me bring out the feeling of the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. Oh, darn. I decided the humor for the last comment. I don't really care how much everyone in is, but if Noski is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. I'm just go with her. Alright. As you read the poem, I noticed your eyes lighten. Expectational. Huh? Uh, what was that? Did, did I say that out loud? Gary covered her mouth, but then ends up coming our whole face. I... Uh, uh, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... Uh, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri took the breath. So, what kind of writing is it fancy at? Yeah. You used your modern medical to indicate your vision on my poetry before. Really? Wow, that's huge compliment come from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? You always stares at me biking, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just met a, um... You trails up, unable to find an excuse. She uses your finger along the words in the poem, as if it breaks it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It was just that there was a thick 
reading habits that are usually typical to new writers. And having been through them myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most novel thing, I recognized the new writers that was trying to make them oh, very deliberate. In other words, I tend to edit the second topic no matter if one to put together. The end of all of the world style and instruments are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and it sounds like she's an expert. Of course, that's not something you should be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even for a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes in practice. And learning by example and trying new things. I hope that everyone else in the club can give you a valuable feedback. Unless you can be a little biased though. Biased. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking to people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or not to not Susie. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thoughts and thoughts. Find it. Yuri smiles extremely as she's a rare opportunity for her, which is just so it's kind of funny. After all, this isn't. Isn't this supposed to be only What the? What one? How do you, can you read this? <laughs> okay. Goes under the light. The. Yeah, you can read this. Ten the least of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining she light to have withered the type of tone. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green. View of the future. Of the future, I believe. Plus, calm, calm breathing air is present, but living in the past, the light flickers. I flicker back. Uh, I'm sorry, it's such terrible handwriting. What? What? I was thinking all of. I was. I wasn't thinking that at all. Why? But I'm actually thirsty as hell, and we have no cups. Uh, yeah. I accidentally stole one of the. I actually stole my other cup on the ground for some reason because I hit it, and I ended up the stuff right into the sink. Okay, I wasn't thinking at all. It, it takes you so long time to read. Uh, uh. Well, I don't need to read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh. Oh, really? Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? But you usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. Listen, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Are you with the ghost theory? Are you with the ghost theory? Mm-hmm. Actually, the story's about ghosts at all, I think. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I did. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But I remember the post often expressed her own thoughts, feelings, and expressiveness toward the work. They usually do more than tell a simple story and paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is I'm about to stop it right here. Okay, stop it right here. Alright. Jesus Christ. Okay, so, uh, wait, wait. Alright, so, um, I guess we'll have to stop right there because my sister is kind of. I need water. Okay. I'm dehydrated. She, she wants water, so. I'll just take over and do the talking Wait. while she gets water. Oh, we don't even have to. Okay, uh, I'll go. You, you take over. I'll go get it. Oh, come. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Please help me, I wanted to end this. In case perhaps this object in the poem is only being symbolized compared to ghosts, we need to in our last remaining peace and comfort, unable to let go of ours. And soon we left be left with nothing. That's a little more so I'm putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Yours is impressive too, so Nah. If anything, I could have probably learned a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing the best for you, Sully. Ah, uh, me too. Phew. Guess that's everyone. I'm glad you're in the room. I was a little more stressful than I anticipated. As if everyone's judging me for immediately revenging in our room. You didn't say you're just being nice. There's no way you can't talk to yours. This is a literature club, after all. I sighed. I guess this is what I. Oh, uh, I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Siri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes landed on Yuri's and not Suki's. They gently exchanged sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read their in tandem, I watched each of those expressions change. Here's your water, lady. Ah, yay! Ah. Let's see if these eyebrows fur in frustration. Yeah, you read small stuff. What is this language? Eh? Nothing. Yes, you can supposed to return the poem into, into the desk in one hand. I guess you could see it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have something that hard to say but come with something that's nice to say? I want you to read all of this in like girly voices and yeah. please read it. Okay. Okay. I need water. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hold the voice! Calm down, boy. Hop over there. <laughs> Are you okay? You sound like you're on drugs. I'm not on drugs. But it didn't really come out that nice at all. Is that your sentence? If I had a high pitch editing, uh, um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hm. If I wasn't looking for suggestions, I would have asked for someone who actually liked it. Which people did it, by the way. Siri liked it, and Seven did too. So basically, so based on that, I gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Why are you really so good now? What happened? Man, it's Percy's voice that's controlling me. My God. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a really long time establishing my writing skill. I don't expect to check the clock. Oh, oh shoot! Like this, sorry, I actually hit my headphones. I'm certain with my phone too, you know. She even told me she was impressed by it. This is on the sunset. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. I feel like this. 
I didn't know you. I didn't realize there was a best in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Oh yeah, you you do that. Do I do I do I voice out the game you versus Yuri? Yeah. <laughs> you versus Yuri. That's not what I. Uh, you just. Yuri sounds up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that something appreciates my advice and more than it appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he's embracing my advice more? Are you just that full of yourself? Uh, I know. If I was full of myself, I would definitely go out on my way to make everything I do all the way to you. This sounds like Yuri, but she's an old age. <laughs> Like 24 oh. or like 50 hundred. Uh, I'm trying my best here. Like, like maybe do your like, maybe try it. Do a hundred voice. Try doing a hundred voice. Do a hundred voice. Okay. I was definitely go out on my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. This is good. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who chose those booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Celery and Sun suing up. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... We do it both at the same time. Okay. One, two, three... This is nothing involving you! Oh, god damn. <laughs> this doesn't involve you, that's what you say. Okay. Okay, one, two, three... This, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you! you. Both girls turned towards me as if they were trying as I was standing there. Southern? She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she can get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't happen in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all complete and with no reason? That means that means to jump up the at the leader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her southern. Wait, wait! There, there's a reason we have so many deep in expression words in, in our language. The only way to convey complex feeling and meaning the most effectively. A point is not unnecessary limited yourself it's also a waste. You understand, right, Southern? Uh. Well. I gotta check into this in the first place. It's not like I have anything. You know, we're writing whatever. So we're I mean, perfect. Only thirty six. Okay. Oh God, this is so confusing. This is so confusing. Oh, okay, you guys find out in the comments what should I pick. Because I'm gonna go. Okay, uh, okay. One for Natsuki, two for Yuri, and three for Help Me See Yuri. Do that. Okay. Okay. Are you okay? Well, this ain't live. I'm getting, com I'm getting confused. Let's end it and see what the comments will say. Like. Yeah. Okay, you guys can, you guys decide on the comments who should I pick. And and in part three, I might pick because it, I'm about to end. So later, guys. The Southern Railway 5970 Productions leaving the station. So later. <laughs>